summer through January, guys. All right, lovelies, let me know if you can't see me all right. Can everyone mute the cell? Because somehow when I mute everybody, I managed to mute myself as well. Okie dokie. Happy February, guys. Okay, let's start with our shoulders down. And we're just going to take a big breath in. And stick our bum out and our knees soften as we come down. And an up, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. Last one. And well done. Let's go straight into balance work tonight, guys. Before I let's get two tails. So let's take it into knee flexion and soften the other knee. Take it back. So see if we did a little bit better than last week. Hold. Bring it back. Really connect to that core. And lift. And back again. And hold. And back in again. And back. And then straight back and just hold it up. Just hold, take your arms out long. Circle them for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Circle back. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done. Other side. Draw the tummy in. Bring it up. Hold. Soften that knee. Take it back. Really straightening that back leg. You're doing that little click there. And then up again. Keep drawing that core in. Back. And again, lift. And back. Last one. And lift. Hold it up, just hold it, just hold. Take it out, reach long, reach long. Circle for four, circle for three, and for two, for one. Circle back, four, three, two, and one. Well done, feels weird, Chris not being on tonight. She was on this morning. I'm just gonna turn this radiator off, guys. All right, so let's just keep our shoulders down and let's just see if we can just keep our hips as still as we can. So draw the tummy in, take your arms out and we're just going to go side to side. Just draw and try and come up on both balls of the feet before you drop down. And then scissor your arms without letting your ribs go with you. So by that I mean keep the ribs in and down. Ribs up and out, bring that thoracic spine out of alignment. So we're going to be doing some arms on the floor tonight with our um, abdominal work. So try and keep them ribs down. And four, three, two, and one. And then into that double one. So again, core engaged into Markham and Wise for two. For three, for four. Is that Helen in the corner? It's so nice to see her if it is. Is that Helen in the middle? Yeah, it is. <laughs> and again, Julie, that's Helen joining us. And eight, and seven, taking a break from the vaccinations. And five, and four. Can I just take a bit of time just to say thank you to our, anyone who works in the NHS and our teaching staff? I'm not quite sure where we'd be without you. And two and one. Well done. Let's take it into a closed position. We normally do wide. Let's do a closed position squat. So keep the core engaged. Take it right down and back up. Bum to wall and back. And for three. And for four. For four. I wish my eyes were better because I'm trying to I'm trying to see who's on and I'm trying to look. I can see facially if people have got the camera on, but I'm looking at names. I think my lovely Karen's on. Go down again, another eight. Let 
we just look. Kate, Joan, Diane, yeah, it's lovely. And again for five, for four, for three, for two, and for one. Well done. Take it into your warrior pose. So a nice soft knee, back leg, really sort of push into that back foot. Turn just into warrior. Slide the scapula down, just find that strength. We're going to just hold. Try and really lean into that front knee. Hold that position. Take your hand behind your back, pull the scapula back together. So, scapula together. So, you've got a bit of stretch. Gently up, just a little bit, not much. Hold. Strengthening the legs. And float back down, watch that front hand, and then take that hand up to the ceiling. Take a breath in. And again. Last one. Gently float your arms back to centre position. Come back into your warrior pose. Just really, really strengthen through the feet. So just hold, shoulders down. Take that arm behind your back. Pull the scapula together. So you're creating a stretch in the front of the pectoral muscles through here. Hold. Slide the scap down a bit. Take a breath in. Last one, float that hand down, take that other hand, reach up to ceiling, hold that balance, take a breath in, last two, last one, Keep the core engaged, gently up. Keep them legs nice and wide. Bring your hips back, chin to chest. Slowly melt to the floor. Taking the sit bones. So usually if your legs are this wide, most people get fingertips down. You may get your palms down. Let the head hang. You may get forearms down. Everyone's different in this position. But just take a few, just a few breaths in through the nose. Out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Have a little rocking action into the ball of the foot, into the heel. Just notice if you're tied to down the hamstrings or into the inner thigh. And then take both hands to one side and just really have a little twist. Take a breath in. Remember. 
work, what we need to watch out for in this position. That front knee does not come over the toes. Hold and lift. And again, I hope you've had a lovely weekend, guys. I was proper outdoors yesterday, Golden Acre Park, Halewood. And back. I've been shattered all day. Hold and back. And again, take it down. Hold. And back, just two more, one, back up, the next one, just hold it down if you can, just hold it, take your hands to pray, weight slightly forward so you're taking the pressure out of the back, and if you can, have a little rotation of the spine, take a breath in, Not easy guys, take the hands into the front knee, bring the back heel in, drive that back heel down into the floor just to feel a nice stretch through the calf and just feel that lovely stretch in the gastrocnemius, that big belly of the calf, which if you're walking might be a little bit tight, as in you're walking a lot. Straighten the front leg, come back in the hips, I think it's Sinead in the top corner, hi then. <laughs> Chin to chest, hips backwards, gently float down to the floor. Or as close to the floor as you can get it, maybe onto your tibia, so just your shin bone. Or if you can get your hands down, great. And push the heel down. I've had to resort to buying some nail varnish, ladies. I peeled the shell off, off of my big toe, so I had one toe painted, May said it was disgusting, so uh, I've had to paint my own toenail for the first time in many years. And take that foot down, bend the knee, and gently, gently up. May said I were, my feet were resembling hobbits, so. Okay, let's go in the other direction. So again, that back leg, so you want your back leg long. Yeah, hips are facing forward. Weight slightly forward, yep, yeah, and just keep coming down, take it down, see if you can hold it, which will improve the balance, and back up, bring it down, hold, watch that front knee, and back up, and again, take it down, hold, three, two, one, back up, and again, if you're doing these, brilliant. You know, they're not easy lunges on balance. And back again. And again, hold. Three, two, one. And back. We've got four more. Take it down, hold. Three, two, one. And back. I'll be laughing because Karen's so brilliant at knowing like, you did two, you didn't do as many on that side, Joe. I just forget. And back. Let's do two more, hold. Three, two, one. Back up again. Hold it down. Three, two, one. Take your hands into press. Slide the scapula down. Draw that tummy in so you can have a rotation. Again, not easy. My legs are shaking. My legs are shaking. And then gently back. And slowly. Oh no, keep there. Sorry. Push the back heel down first. Feel that stretch. I've been trying to do loads of stretches lately. My legs feel really good, but I did a lovely um, run with my um, fin yesterday, which was gorgeous. If you want to get away from Roundy Park, guys, which is so busy, Golden Acre was so much more quiet. And then straighten that front leg, chin to chest. I think we're allowed to travel to Golden Acre, aren't we? And then gently down. Feel that lovely stretch through the back of the leg. Let the head hang. You can push that heel down onto the floor if you want, or just keep the ball of the foot down. Just feeling that lovely stretch down the back of that front leg. Take a lovely breath in. And again. Then bend that front knee, take a breath in through the nose. And slowly, slowly back up to centre position. Well done, guys. Good. I don't need syringe on. I'm trying to look. 
if she's not, if you are Serena, just go easy babe with these next ones, but I think everyone's okay otherwise on wrist. So really good to do balance work and to do wrist work, um, just to, great for bone loading, yeah bone density. So we're not holding plank for ages, I promise you, but we're going to take a little bit of softness in the knee. So even if you can get down to the floor easily with a straight leg, try and take a softness in the knee so that we're not taking it into the back. Take the hips backwards and just gently float down. Yeah, letting the bum come up towards the ceiling, the sit bones in the bottom. Just take a big breath in. And gently roll back up. And let's do that one more time. Chin to chest, hips backwards, a little bit of softness in the, knee, in the knee. Not quite as much as the first time. Gently down. For people who have very tight hamstrings, softness in the knee is so much better than a straight leg. Doesn't pull on that back. Again, take a breath in. And slowly up. And this last one, we're going to walk it out into a plank. We're going to take the chin to chest. We're going to take the hips backwards, softness in the knee, or if you feel that you've got the hammies to allow it, you can have that straighter leg. Let the head hang. Just have a little rock here, guys. So just forward and back. Yeah, just notice how it changes the stretch in the leg. And then side to side. Noticing again if you went on a long walk yesterday, how tight you might be feeling in the legs. And then just walk it out into your plank position. Remember with plank we want our fingers spread. Yeah, our core connected, our shoulder blades down. Our breastbone not like that but lifted. Send the heels towards the floor. And just hold, find that lovely strength. Yaw and hold that, and then we're just going to gently take the hips nice and high. Walk the hands back a little bit, just let the head hang towards the thighs. Just hold, really, really reach the heels high, and then bend the knees and straighten the legs. Bend the knees and straighten the legs to give yourself that little bit of length in the spine. Two more. And then just go easy on this next one into your stepper. Take the right heel down. Is the right heel on the floor? If not, how far away is it? And the other side. And we'll do it times three this. And see if each time you get that little bit nearer. And again, right heel down. Hold. Left heel down. Hold. Last one. Right heel. Hold. Oh, Karen Ruth says hello, hon. She was on with her little girl today. It was super cute. And then take both heels down, walk it back. I think her little girl, I think her youngest is only eight, and she did the bar class. And then gently up. Oh, okay, let's do that again. So we're incorporating strength of the tummy, strength into the shoulders and length into the hamstrings and spine. Let's come back down again. And just notice each time everything should just feel that a little bit easier. Walk it out, maybe not the plank. <laughs> Draw the tummy in, spread the fingers, keep the core engaged, make sure you are not dropping. Lift up out of the breastbone, send the heels towards the floor. Feel that nice strength in the upper body, in the core. Then take your bottom high, your hips high, walk the hands back a little bit, let the head come towards the thighs. Yeah, and again, let's go again. Let's take the right heel down, hold it. And the left heel, hold. And the right heel, hold. And the left. And the right. And the left. And both together. Keep the heels down. Draw the tummy in. Walk it 
it back. Just see if again, really good this move, just for so much. And then gently back. Last one, gently back up on this last one, guys. We're going to keep it down into plank and do a little bit of core work. Chin to chest, hips back. Gently float back down. If you've had a tough, tough first day back at work or you've been working the weekend and you want to go into a shell stretch, by all means do. Otherwise, we're coming into that plank position. We're going to bring the right heel down and back, hold it. Take the right foot out to the side and the left foot. Bring the knee in, knee in, out to the side, out to the side. Try not to look at the screen, keep your head looking down. Yeah, neck long, right knee in, left knee in. Right foot out to the side, left foot out to the side. And again, four more. Knee in, knee in, out to the side, out to the side. Knee in, knee in, out to the side, out to the side. Two more, knee in, knee in. Remember, you can go to a shell stretch at any time. Last one, knee in, knee in. Out to the side, out to the side, knee down. Come to sit on your heels, take your big toes together and have a very welcome shell stretch. Try and get the chest as close to the floor as you can and just reach your arms long, taking some lovely breaths in, some lovely breaths out. trouble tonight ladies, somehow I've managed to throw Jude's maths exercise book away. <gasps> anyway, either that or he's going to he's gonna blame me if he gets a grade less than he's supposed to. <laughs> and then take both hands round to one side, take the second hand over the bottom hand, yeah reach it long, try and feel the stretch almost underneath the armpit. Take a breath in, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more, last one, back to centre, round to the other side, and again take a breath in, and again, let's do two more, let's do the last one, and then just before we turn on to our side guys, come back, just let's just do two cow to cats and I just want to do a little bit of upward dog. So take a breath in, draw the navel in, start rounding your back, big, big roundness of the thoracic before you let that chin drop. And then the other way. And round. And then just look over one shoulder high and stick your hips out the other way. And look over the other shoulder, stick your hips out. And again, just notice if you've got any tension through the lateral side of the body. And then we'll do that rolling cat. Stick the hips out, round. Mm, one more. And then switch direction. Hmm, two, and three, and then what I want you to do, if you can, come up into plank, look, right, if you've used the chaturanga, you can try and take the elbows back in this position and come all the way down to the floor with the chest, like this. It's pretty tough on the upper body strength, so if you know looking that's too much, bring the knees down, Bring the elbows backwards, take your 
chest down and look up into that upward dog. Take a breath in. Back again into plank. This is where we'd normally go into downward dog, but we've done that a few times. So again, take the knees down, elbows in, down to the floor, look up, take a breath in. And just sit back into a closed position shell, just for a good 20 seconds, taking some breaths in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In. jabs you know Helen you've probably had yours there haven't you now I would have thought hopefully and again my mum's had her first one two one and then lift straight up back in close remember so don't look at your foot yeah know what your legs doing try and increase what that what we call proprioception so just know what the old legs are doing less of the old there eh? And again for eight, close, for seven, close, for six, what a funny old start to the year isn't it guys, really is, four, three, two, one, let's do eight more, I don't feel clam that much guys, I feel side leg much more, so I apologise if clam is you one way, you're like wow. And again, let's go five, let's go four, let's go three, let's go two, let's go one. Well done, take them down and straighten them legs. So let's straighten the legs, let's try and do the original one. So lift the bottom waist up, Keep that top leg almost as long as you can possibly make it. Imagine someone's pulling that ankle bone. Keep lifting and lift and lower and lift and lower and three and four and eight and seven and six. Sinead, I hope your little boy's not watching, he'll be going, why did you count to four and then count to eight? It doesn't make sense, mummy. <laughs> and again, let's count down from eight, for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, one, hold, lengthen a bit more, bend that bottom knee this time, lengthen, lift the bottom waist up, make a little uh, rectangle, take it forward, quite a long rectangle then, little and back, so think, I don't know, think, third, I don't know, 10 inch and lift for two, something like that, and forward, lift and back, forward, lift and back, forward, lift and back, now the other way, we lift up, forward, lift, the other way, lift, yeah, lift for three. These are much harder to me. Four. Four more. Four. Woo. Three. Well, you can feel your bum. Two. I didn't notice if Gemma on, but she won't be talking to me if she is. 
and one, and gently down, but carry on, carry on like that. Just give it a nice little rub, ladies. Nice little rub, and just come up onto your back to stretch that out. I'm going to do piriformis stretch. So take it into tabletop. You should know this off by heart now, but I know people often forget. Visualise inner knee, opposite shoulder. So you push it in that direction across the midline. That may be enough if your bum's tight. Mine is a little bit tight. But I'm going to lift up, grab the opposite hand onto the outside of the ankle bone. Oh, beautiful. Oh, sometimes that stretch feels so, so good. And bring that heel into the top of that leg that's on the floor, top of the thigh. Just keep pushing on the outside of that knee. If you are really feeling this stretch and you, you know, you've not done loads of exercise, then I would suggest you do it daily. And just take a nice breath in. And again. Last one. Take that hand that was at the outside of the knee out to shoulder height. Take the other hand onto the outside and bring it over into your supine spine. Really linked. If you can get into the habit of remembering from piriformis into this. And again, take some lovely breaths, lovely deep breaths in through the nose. Out through the mouth. And because it's a stretch, on the inhale, you can think about letting the belly come big. I'm on a mission to drink at least two litres, maybe three a day, one to two. The problem is I'm running to the loo all the time. <laughs> so if I get through this session, guys, I'll be very surprised. <sighs> Last one. Oh, and just gently in, and just before we last land, finish with that side, just bring that back of that sh um, thigh, just bring the knees into chest, or knee into chest, and just do a little, quite a dynamic stretch, so just in and out, so straighten the leg, bend it, straighten, straighten, bend, just like that, just noticing if the hammy still feel tight, hold it up, flex, point, Flex, point, flex, point, flex, bring it in and out. So in and out. That inversion, eversion, which is so good for stopping that lateral ankle pain. And then circle, or foot pain actually, and circle back. Two, three, and four. Four, shall we do? Yeah, let's do the other one just in case I forget. Okay, let's come over onto the other side, guys. So again, let's just um, do our clamp first. So hips are facing forward. Yeah, we'll just do single count to start with. So just take it and close it. Take it, so keep the hips facing forward. Don't let them roll back for three. For four, for four, for three, for two, for one. We've just got four open and closed, four more, and then we'll take the leg out. For three, for two, for one. The next one, we're going to take it out, lengthen that leg, bring it in, and close it. Liz just rung me tonight. She did class today, and she said, advise me to watch that thing tonight, the drowning, is it? with Jill Halfpenny. I just don't know if I want to watch anything sad. I feel like I should be watching something like, I don't know, like Blue Hawaii with Elvis in it, or something to look, you know, something nice to look at. And again, for eight, seven, six, five. I was looking at Corn um, Cornwall Cottages yesterday. Plus everyone seems to think we won't get broad this year. They're so expensive, aren't they? Two and a half grand for a week in Cornwall. I was like, hmm, maybe not, maybe not. Might just buy a paddling pool. And two, 
and one and relax take it straight just take that so make sure your head's nice and connected you know just relax even if it means you're putting a cushion there try and keep the hips stacked the uh, knees stacked ankles stacked lift up lift up we're just going to lift and lower to start with and drop try and have no movement in the pelvis you can take your arm up if you want you can even take it overhead into like torpedo and lift if you if your balance is really good and just keep lifting that bottom waist keep lifting and again and again so remember think about length not height yeah with the leg for five for four for three for two for one hold take the hand down take it forward or bend that bottom knee whichever one you usually need a little bit of help in this one lift into rectangle and or if you can keep the bottom leg straight by all means do so you take it forward you lift up back and down forward lift up back i think these are harder than the circles actually lift and back forward lift and down, forward. If you can get your kids out going for a run or a jog with you guys, just honestly, I've, I've not been running for quite a while and I absolutely loved my little run yesterday with Finley Bob. And then back the other way, lift. The fact that he's faster than me, I didn't like, but. <laughs> I went thinking, do you know what? He's going to really struggle keeping up with me. Boy, was I wrong. And um, four, three, am I taking your mind off this? Two, and one. Oh, that hurt me. I don't know if it's because I did that to me. Oh, the run yesterday. Come on to your backs. Again, back in two. Take that foot, just push it away. So this is figure four one if you prefer it to periformis stretch. I like them both if I'm honest. They're both good glute stretches. Or the periformis one, as we did on the other side, push across the midline, lift up and bring that heel into the butt. Keep pushing on the outside of that knee. I like to show that one as well, just because periformis, sometimes if you've got a slight issue with the knee, it can be a little bit uncomfortable. And just keep pushing through. Good, and take that same hand that was on the outside of the knee out to shoulder height. Opposite hand comes over into that lovely supine spine stretch. Oh, I love this stretch. Never get tired of it. Inhale, let the belly rise. Exhale, release. And again. Collarbones are wide. Okay. 
Shin should be directly underneath the knee. We're going to take a breath in through the nose. Gently roll your lower back into imprint. Remember imprint is spine as though we're squashing something underneath the lumbar spine and then start lifting the bottom. Lifting the lower back, lifting the mid back, sending the knees long and the hips are high. You're just on your shoulder blades though, you're not on your neck. And if we can, draw that core in. Give yourself a little bit of a glute squeeze if you need. And see if you can just gently float your arms over. Just to about your sort of eye level, not to the floor. Take a breath in. Float your arms back. Take a breath in through the nose. Slowly restack that spine back down, bone by bone. And then just take a little look, guys, at your knees. Are they still parallel or did they somehow manage to go out to the side? So always imagine if you've got a softball, brilliant. Softballs just give you that little bit. If you have the softball and you give it a bit of a squeeze, your knees are going to be in alignment. If you've not got one, you can use yoga blocks or cushions or just imagine that something's there. So let's go again. Let's take a breath in. Gently roll the lower back into the mat. And at the same time as we start lifting our spine, try and keep the ribs down, but try and float your arms backwards at the same time, sending the knees long, the hips high. Take a lovely breath in at the top, let the belly rise. Exhale, draw the navel back in and start floating your back and your arms back down to the mat, bone by bone. And just keep the eyes closed. Last one, breath in. Exhale, gently roll the lower back in to imprint, start lifting your bottom, and as you start lifting your bottom, lift your arms with you. Taking the spine away, pushing the hips high, sending the knees long. Come on, just hold here, just hold. Breathe into the belly, let the belly rise. Exhale, draw the tummy in. Gently float yourself back down to the mat. Gently down, 
Take your arms over, take a big breath in. Little chin up, exhale, ribs come towards the hips. You reach forward, you restack back up. Inhale, draw the navel in, gently down. Big inhale, exhale, rib connection, forward, restack, and again. Exhale. And up. Last one. Down. Well, last one with a straight leg. Inhale. Chin towards the chest. Ribs down. Oh, all the way over. Restep back up. And then just take a bit of softness in the knee. Just to, and we're just going to come up like this and hold. So we're going to take a breath in. Draw the tummy in nice and slow. Start coming back. Arms just up to there. Breath in. Draw the tummy in nice and slow. Again, breath in. Draw the navel in. Gently back. Big breath in. Exhale. 